In this tutorial we will learn how to make a remote long distance weather station using two DHT sensors, HC12 modules and the I2C LCD display. For this project you will need a I2C LCD display, two HC12 modules, two DHT sensors, two Arduinos, jumper wires and Viswino software. Wire everything according to this schematic. Go to viswino.eu and download and install Viswino software. Start Viswino and select the Arduino board, in our case it's Arduino Uno. First we will create a sender, add, pulse generator, component. Add DHT component. Add analog to analog array component. Add packet component. Select pulse generator 1 and in the properties window set frequency to 5 Hz. Select analog to analog array 1 and in the properties window set input pins to 2. Select Humidity Thermometer 1 and in the Properties window select the type, in our case it's DHT22. Double click on the packet 1 and in the Elements window drag, Analog Array, to the left side, then close the Elements window. Connect pulse generator 1 pin out to humidity thermometer 1 pin clock and packet 1 pin clock. Connect humidity thermometer 1 pin sensor to Arduino digital pin 3. Connect humidity thermometer 1 pin temperature to analog to analog array 1 pin 0 and pin clock. Connect humidity thermometer 1 pin humidity to analog to analog array 1 pin 1 and pin clock. Connect analog to analog array 1 to packet 1 analog array 1 pin in. Connect packet 1 pin out to Arduino serial 0 pin in. On the bottom click on the build tab. Make sure you selected the right board and port and click on the Compile Build and Upload button. Now we are going to make a receiver. Add Pulse Generator Component. Select Pulse Generator 1 and in the Properties window set Frequency to 5 Hz. Add DHT Component. And in the properties window set type, in our case it's DHT11. Add 4, formatted text, components. And for each in the properties window set text to percent zero percent one. Double click on the formatted text one and in the elements window drag text element to the left side and in the properties window set initial value to inside temp 
In the elements window also drag analog element to the left side and in the properties window set precision to 2. Close the elements window. Double click on the formatted text 2 and in the elements window drag text element to the left side and in the properties window set initial value to inside hum. In the elements window also drag analog element to the left side and in the properties window set precision to 2. Close the elements window. Double click on the formatted text 3 and in the elements window drag text element to the left side and in the properties window set initial value to out temp. In the elements window also drag analog element to the left side and in the properties window set precision to 2. Close the elements window. Double click on the formatted text 4 and in the elements window drag text element to the left side and in the properties window set initial value to out hum. In the elements window also drag analog element to the left side and in the properties window set precision to 2. Close the elements window. Add unpack it component. Add analog array to analog component. And in the properties window set output pins to 2. Double click on the unpack it 1 and in the elements window drag analog array to the left side. Close the elements window. Add liquid crystal display LCD I2C component. Double click on the liquid crystal display 1 and in the elements window drag text field to the left side and in the properties window set width to 20. In the elements window drag another text field to the left side and in the properties window set row to 1 and width to 20. In the elements window drag another text field to the left side and in the properties window set row to 2 and width to 20. In the elements window drag another text field to the left side and in the properties window set row to 3 and width to 20. Close the elements window. Select liquid crystal display 1 and in the properties window set columns to 20, rows to 4. Connect pulse generator 1, pin out to humidity thermometer 1, pin clock. Connect humidity thermometer 1, Pin sensor to Arduino Digital Pin 2. Connect Humidity Thermometer 1, Pin Temperature 2, Formatted Text 1, Analog Element 1 Pin In, and Pin Clock. Connect Humidity Thermometer 1, Pin Humidity 2, Formatted Text 2, Analog Element 1 Pin In, and Pin Clock. Connect Arduino Serial 0 pin out to Unpack It 1 pin in. Connect Unpack It 1 Analog Array 1 pin out to Analog Array to Analog 1 pin in. Connect Analog Array to Analog 1 pin 0 to Formatted Text 3 Analog Element 1 pin in and pin clock. Connect Analog Array to Analog 1, 
pin 1, 2, formatted text 4, analog element 1 pin in, and pin clock. Connect, formatted text 1, pin out 2, liquid crystal display 1, text field 1 pin in. Connect, formatted text 2, pin out 2, liquid crystal display 1, text field 2 pin in. Connect, formatted text 3, pin out 2, liquid crystal display 1, text field 3 pin in. Connect, formatted text 4, pin out 2, liquid crystal display 1, text field 4 pin in. Connect, liquid crystal display 1, pin I2C out to Arduino pin I2C in. On the bottom click on the build tab, make sure you selected the right board and port and click on the compile build and upload button.